Welcome to the Fairfield Shellfish Commission meeting of April 13th, 2022. We have a call to order. Uh, we do have a quorum. Present are Bruce Keepner, Cindy Wakeman, Sean Short, and on the phone is Sean Cohen and Lizette Enhofer. All right, we'll go to um, bills and communications. So the approval of the draft meeting minutes of March 9th, 2022. We'll have a chance to take a look and correct any questions, changes. Motion to approve them. March 9th, 2022 minutes. So moved. I'll second. All in favor, aye. 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 Oh, sorry, I forgot about you guys. <laughs> so you're doing the dishes. I am. <laughs> you're good. Go to committee reports. Clam relay and planting. Um, no real report. Um, we can't do anything until the water hits 50, and um, that'll be probably in the month of May. Uh, we'll see if we, if we can get a relay done, get a relay, or we'll uh, purchase some market clams right before the uh, clinic. Anyone got anything else on that? No? All right, we'll go to uh, water and habitat quality. Okay, so we have for the reporting month for March, it says the, <clears throat> the rain gauge at the town hall weather station registered approximately 2.73 inches of rain. Total amount of days that shell fishing was closed for this calendar year through the last day reporting of the month is 14. That is? Yeah. Okay. Anyone have anything else on water and habitat quality? No. All right. Okay. We'll go to permits and access. Okay. So it looks like, as of right now, total recreational permits issued are 171. That's really good. It's actually it's at 196 now. Nice. So it says that there were 40 issued by mail and online applications are 131. Nice. So we're doing pretty good. Yeah. <clears throat> um, it looks like the access issue of Fairfield losing control of its beach parking, that got pushed. So that bill that was defeated. So that's good. We're going to have to deal with that. Southport Beach reopening. Um, Sean, have you heard anything from the state at all or from Melissa? Uh, I have not. I, uh, I've been up here this week. I know you were thinking about if it rained, trying to get a sample. Did that happen this week down there? Yeah, we did. I just wanted to make sure before I did mine if you had anything, um, any communications. No, no communication. I don't know if she's always in the habit of sending. Um, I think they just, at some point, they need to keep their records or the important thing. And mm -hmm. I know that they were, um, per our call with her, they had an issue a while back. So um, I can double check in and, and find out what they got from the last reading. I would imagine it's probably similar to the last few. So I'm glad you were able to get a reading this week, though. Yeah, so um, uh, I had a chance. Bruce and I went and did um, water testing yesterday, and I brought it up to uh, Milford, and I dropped it off the lab. I had a chance to sit down with Alyssa for a few minutes and talk over um, just a little bit in depth of, you know, the water testing and ways that we can improve getting 
the spots on the map so that we can kind of GPS as we walk around so that we're as accurate as possible where we're taking our samples. She said that she has to, um, we have a, a bunch of data that we've submitted so far, so we're in good shape with that. She wants to make sure that if even if we can't do the the rain sampling, that we do a dry sample. Um, you know, say if we get towards the end of the month and we realize, okay, we don't have a water uh, the rain sample, we can still go for a dry sample, and that will still be helpful, and she can um, put that into her um, information. She said that she's going to be um, Fairfield is on the priority list for getting. Um, a uh, report drawn up that she's going to submit to the FDA as far as what they think about sh um, the shell fishing opening in Southport. Um, she said by latest, because they're so bogged down and, you know, backed up with everything, with the data entry and all that good stuff, she said we would possibly have an answer by September latest, whether uh, Southport will be opening and what we kind of have to work with for it to be open and closed. That's, wow. that's where she left us at. So possibly September we might have an answer. That's like the best news we've had <laughs> in five years on that. So well, please. yeah, but, but but if we look at the data we've had so far, our, our our samples were above acceptable when we've had rain. So she may have an answer for us, but I don't, I'm not aware of any samples we've turned in that would be good news. Right. So at one time, Melissa came in with all kinds of data that they had on it and was thinking about like a, a certain season, um, maybe in the winter or going by a rain gauge on the Mill River. So instead of going by inches of rain, seeing it could be open until the Mill River hits a certain height. Um, but and USGS has installed on Duck Farm Road Oh. A flow yeah. meter. Yeah. So there's a possibility with that. Um, you might you could possibly bring that up with her next time you talk to her. Okay. About that. That's what they were thinking five years ago when we were testing over there. Um, it is. It's the water all around it is not bad. It's just one or two stations out there that, and it sort of eddies back around the beach. A lot of mussels there. Yeah. yeah well, can't eat them right. Uh, all right. That's it on Southport Beach? That's all I've got. Yep. Yeah. You know, those numbers could possibly change also when there's no dogs allowed on the beach. So, and the grant fly back to the Arctic. Well, so. she mentioned possibly if we were to have it opened, it wouldn't be during the summer. It could possibly be from, like, September to June. Mm hmm she was mentioning that some some towns they work on less like uh, so some towns actually have a half an inch of rain and they have to close down because of the way everything you know balances out and we have the one inch so we kind of have to find that happy medium of you know do we do one inch do we have to do one and a half inches with Southport or do we have to do a half inch so these are all things that she said that she was going to be looking at the numbers and trying to figure out what where we have to be. All right. So. Any, anything is better than nothing. Yeah. So. Agreed. Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Commercial shellfish regulations, no report. Okay. Oyster bed development. Um, obviously, uh, we're still collecting shell. Um, we do sometimes soon have to take our bags of spat on shell out of the out yard and dump them in Ash Creek or on Southport Sasco Beach or something like that. Um, it's not a huge job, but so we load up the truck and drive them over and then drag them out in the uh, trailers. Um, how much do they weigh? No, oh, when they went in the water, they weighed 20 pounds, but they probably weigh 30, at least 30 pounds now, maybe more. They're not that fast. I, don't oh. I think we 
take them up out the hardest part. You take it out of the water, then you got to unhook it. So you're sort of like messing around with that. Then we just throw it in the cart and wheel it up. Um, anyone else got anything on oyster bed development? Mm-hmm. No, okay. Make that an easy one. All right. Communications. Communications is, is sort of been a holding pattern. I think we've got a great opportunity with the clam clinic coming up. Otherwise it's, it's just been kind of dropping some photos, keep people thinking about it, but no big efforts since last month. So you didn't get the email from Alyssa, right? About what? The closure. Say it again. Did you get the email from Alyssa about the closure? Cause I didn't get it. No. I, yeah. I got it. You got it? I feel like I saw it. Man, I don't think I got it. When was the time. closure? Um, uh, last week. Yeah, well, when did it rain? All that rain, was it Saturday or Thursday. Friday? Yeah. Thursday? <clears throat> I didn't get it. I know I definitely saw it somewhere that we were closed. I don't know where I saw it, but I definitely saw it. Well, the email came from... from uh, the the odd thing is I get them sometimes, but it seems I'm not getting all of them. Yeah, so the conservation office sent out the closure um, email. Everyone should have got that. And then I put it on Facebook, but I never got the email from the state. So I figured you didn't get it either. That's why you didn't put the closure up. No. So, yeah. So Alyssa didn't send it out to everyone, but she did send it to Joanne. So. Who changes right? it? Yeah, <clears throat> well, I think we get it faxed. No. Oh, you get the facts. <laughs> facts? Yeah. Well, they got all the high-tech stuff. <laughs> They have the room for. I didn't think anybody used fax. Oh, just for that. <laughs> I think that's the only thing that faxes. If you had enough electricity yeah. in the space, you could have a fax machine. <laughs> I threw mine out. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Let's see. So on communications, we have to start. You know, probably pumping up the uh, clam clinic. One of the things that the Harbor Management Commission has done, they have enlisted, they have got kids from the high school who do video, mm -hmm. and they gave them a project. And these kids are very enthusiastic about it, and they're producing a video that will be, you know, on the website and distributed, you know, all yeah. over. and. After I looked at the piece that we had in the Fairfield Citizen or wherever it was, <clears throat> that was a really good story because it showed Ash Creek and the trees. And, she did a good job, yeah. And, and we could possibly, you know, I could, I could check, see about getting some of the, because these kids are very, very talented and they've got a lot of really good equipment. Yeah, it was it would be nice if they could come to the You're talking about coming to the clinic or doing something before? Well, the clinic would be the easiest, but... Yeah, so, yeah, if they could do something at the clinic. Yeah. Like talk to people and, you know, there's a lot of... So, the, I guess my question is, why do teenagers with iPhones want to do these things? It's either to enhance their own social sort of distinction within their communities, or we offer up some cash. Small amount of money and say, best video about the clam clinic, maybe we get 15 submitted. We use all of them as future communication slash marketing, but might not be the worst thing to take 100 bucks and say, hey, put together a cool video of your time at the clam clinic, win 100 bucks. Yeah, or we could just ask them if they'll do it. I mean, these, I guess, these kids, these high school kids, uh, they're – they're working. They have a teacher that they run a an audio class or course, and they're actually going to do some of this stuff over the summer. But <clears throat> they're not just doing it, you know, for the fun of it. They're talented. It's a skill they have, and they the only stuff they can use to get into you know, yeah. the next college or whatever. Well, I know. Also. Uh, some of the kids are short on volunteer hours. There have not been, I know the uh, Key Club at Ward, a lot of the kids are short hours because they haven't had as many opportunities 
because of COVID, and I'm still not places still not taking volunteers. Um, so if we needed to tap into that, we definitely could. No, oh, well, maybe we could send an email over to the Key Club, or if you know who runs it, have them contact us. Uh, yes, Denise Lewis. All right. Well, if you get some more info, we can send an email and say, <clears throat> when do uh, your hours even, have to be yeah. done by, though? Um, I don't know. But, you know, how many hours they get after that? They could be hours they could use towards next year. Because these kids are able to build up hours over the summer. Oh, over the summer? They can definitely use. I think they can. I think they can use hours from over the summer also. They use them for next year's hours. <clears throat> All right, so kind of gotten off the uh, point here, but um, anything else on communication? Okay. No, nope, that's it, but I think Clam Clinic is big. Can I ask you how many stairs are in your house? Huh? <laughs> Sorry, can you guys hear that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds like you're marching in place. <laughs> there, there was also a dog following me. Uh, well, so it might have been not, a lot like an echo. In my car. It's, it's me and a dog. That's it. All right. All right. We're going to go to Downwellers. Um, there's a big pile of stone down at the Downwellers that has to be spread out next to them so we have more room to work down there. Um, other than that, there's not much going on with them right now. We probably will be getting a new pump. I have to talk to Tim and see if he found anything out about the electric if that's going to get done or has been done. Um, other than that, you know, it's quiet time on that right now. So, Do we want to set, you know, do we want to have volunteers, like, you know, what Lissette mentioned, or do we want to just, within us, do the raking out of the gravel and stuff? Um, I have to go see how big a pile it is. I'm hoping it's not some immense pile of stone. Okay. If it is, we may need a little help. Reinforcement. It's like a machine. <laughs> <laughs> when, the, when the kid gets home, though, it's like, oh, what'd you do with the shellfish commission? <laughs> oh, I shoveled stone for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, yeah, let's go. We'll see how big a pile it is and then deal with that. Okay. All right. Reports from the Conservation Department. Shellfish fund balance is $31,661.45 as of March 31st. It's probably grown a little bit due to permit sales, so probably over $32,000 now. Um, as was reported by Cindy, 171 permits through March 31st. Um, as of today, I know Joanne told me there was 196. So that was a pretty good clip up there. Shellfish closure period, it was already reported on. And the Shellfish Commission budget status. Going to RTM now? Yeah. So, so I, I'm, you know, I haven't heard that they're going to cut us, so we should be fine. Mm -hmm. um, old business. Discussion on proposals of dread section of channel in Lower Pine Creek. Um, we pretty much talked this over, sent our response. Does anyone have anything else on that? No. No. So uh, we'll strike that from the agenda next one. So what did I say? Strike. Or remove from the agenda. Yeah. Um, new business. All right. The Spring Clam Clinic. So what were the dates we decided on? June 4th and June 18th? Or June 4th with the rain date of June 18th? Correct. Is that still good with everyone? Yeah. Yep. I'm not available on the 4th, but I can be around for the 18th. Is Eric available on the 4th? No. Oh. Because he, he will be cooking for his daughter's graduation party. Oh, oh on June 4th, huh? Now, do you think that yep. possibly having the June 18th date might run into issues with graduation? Uh, graduation is on the 21st, the 21st. Uh, at okay. Ludlow. So, All right, good. Um, I'm sure Ward is one of the other nights. Maybe they're on the weekend, but 
Um, no, I mean, the 18th isn't a bad day. It's Father's Day the next day, so it's like, oh, let's take that clam and now we can <clears throat> take off. No, but it, I think we've had it on Father's Day weekend before, and it's worked out. So, but Yeah, I think the weather's a little nicer usually by then. Great. So the reason we're picking the 4th was if it did get rained out, two weeks later would be the 18th in right. June. Because once you jump into July, it's just not worth it. The beach gets crowded and it's too hot. No one's around. So um, so I guess June 4th, right? We've had a couple of inquiries. Yeah. So that's the reason I'm going to get this, the date settled on so that we can um, inform Publicize. people that the clinic will be on the 4th and to encourage people to buy permits, um, you know, beforehand. They can obviously still claim it, you know, they haven't gotten a permit. Um, what else? Everyone's got their little assignments, right? Mm -hmm. Sean, what did you yeah, have John, a question on the banners? Yeah, so I have a question. So I, I, I got to the banner people late, and they've got the request. They did not send me the estimate, so I can't submit to you guys the cost to get authorization for the banners. Um, obviously, I want to get it ordered before the next meeting. So what is the process? Can, can we just earmark a certain amount? Do you know what so the, what, the, the one cost that, that we're going to hang at the Village Green? How, how, much, how much do you think all these banners are going to be total? She wouldn't give me an estimate. It's a, it's a date change yeah. for the one that hangs in the Village Green. It's three new banners. I mean, how much can a banner cost? hundred bucks each? It's got to be less than that. If we can just earmark 300 bucks so I can say yes, if she approve, says... Make a motion to approve $500 for banners. Uh, I'd like a motion to approve 500 bucks for banners. Yeah. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. And then if it if it runs over the five, we've already approved a, a pile of money for the clinic. So it just goes on that clinic bill, you know? Maybe I'm missing the economies of making banners, but it can't go for three banners over 500 bucks. If it does, I'm going into the banner business. No. <laughs> exactly right. Okay, thank you guys. I'll, we'll, we'll have it locked up soon. All right. Uh, what else on the clam clinic? I'm going to handle getting clams in the water. <clears throat> I'm doing chowder. New England, and then yeah. I'll do some Manhattan. By the way, I want to make – we can jump right back. I want to make sure – I mentioned it the last time. Instead of a banner that says chowder, I have a banner that says chowder. C H O W D A H. Is that okay? Is it not like anything to do with the Red Sox or Boston or anything, right? That's it's Chowder. just a New England y mispronunciation. Yeah, I think it's endearing to the town folk. Okay. That's a good idea, Sean. Yeah. All right. Chowder. Chowder. Yeah. And then, you know, for music, we could just have a little speaker on the table next to uh, um, Joanne. We're not going to be able to band, and we're not going to be able to have food trucks either. So no, there's no room. There's no room. Yeah. <clears throat> and the food trucks could create a problem because I think they need to have a a permit for the beach. Like that's a, I think that's always been something people bid on. So it might be. I don't think uh, they're allowed to do anything there. It, so. If I could mention one possible thing we didn't discuss before, and our social account posted it uh, in the last month. Have we ever thought about doing like a clam bake where you have the seaweed and the rocks and the whole thing? Is that allowable at Sasco with a fire department sort of specialty thing for our group? So no, I know you can, can do it. You can have bonfires at down at – what's that? I know you can have it at Jennings. I'm not sure if you can have it at Sasco because access for the fire department might be weak. Mm. So I, I know that it's probably because the police are down at, you know, the marina and that, but um, – I, I don't know if we could we could do that with food safety and all that stuff. We're not really trained for that kind of thing. It's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. I'll give it up. They are delicious, though. We could do it like we could have a meeting at the beach and do that if you want to, you know, I, I have a discata, and we do that down there. That works out really well. So <laughs> the plow disc. And uh, you put all the clams and onions yeah. and bacon and everything in there and shrimp. And you put the lid on it and steam it up. And then you put it on the table and everyone just digs in. Oh, wow. 
So we could do a beach meeting if you want. And 100%. Like I like that idea. We could do just steamers. <laughs> we could just get steamers also. Steamers and muscles. Yeah. Well, you no, the muscles. Just but. to kind of piggyback off of what Sean mentioned, yeah. are we exclusive to only do events at, South, at Sasco Beach, or are we allowed to do things at Jennings? So we could do an event, but there, you wouldn't be able to dig any clams. Mm-hmm. Mm. No, it's just it's, okay. it's closed. So uh, I know that the fire pits. Um, like we could have a fire pit at Jennings. Yeah, they're but those, those sell out really, very quickly. They're gone. Yeah, they're yeah, gone like they're 10 gone in like thirty seconds. <laughs> so um, I don't think we should have any events like beyond. I even sometimes worry about the the chowder being there. Mm. But, uh, People don't really get enough of it, you know, if it was an issue. Do they drink or eat of all? Is it popular? Yeah, it goes, all of it goes, just goes. You get out these little cups, you take it right down. You can this hot. Yeah, all the chowder goes. Um, all right, and then next month we'll just get everything together with uh, the prizes and all that. Um, if we have to buy prizes, we'll buy some gift cards or something like that if we can't get any donations. All right. Uh, old business. Or when, yeah, sorry. New business. We're on new, new business. business. Um, I'm looking at the top of the page. Shellfish Commission recommendation from regarding installing the dock at 1143-1155 Sasko Hill Road. Um, I emailed <coughs> in the response. Um, did you get... Did you read it over? Um, yes. You didn't comment. I uh, no, no. <laughs> sure, if I did get it then. I thought I did. Okay. I guess it was okay. So I sent the response, and it was all of our concerns, basically, on letterhead. And I sent it to uh, Deb and Santa over at Race. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, the Sounds of the Clam Clinic. There's docks going in everywhere, and they're getting extremely hard to stop. So you heard this, what they were talking about. There's one where there's a, an easement or a restrictive covenant or, where you can't build on the land that's, that's on the beach. So I guess the homeowner is getting around it by putting the dock one foot below the high water mark. And so you can step from the beach onto the dock, and that's going to be his access. So, even with that restrictive land, that covenant with Aspect Land Trust, if someone wanted to put a dock from any one of those other houses, they can. If this court case, if it goes mm. through, and they get it approved, it'll set precedent, and then they could just put docks for each one of those houses there. Um, they'd probably get a little pushback because being a recreational selfish pet, but. Um, Hmm. But it could work in our advantage. I mean, like even the dock that's going in, we could possibly push a little bit on the state to help us a little more with that Southport Beach or finding the actual source of the, the sewage. You know, there's got to be a leaky pipe or a leaky septic somewhere. Well, USGS, next month or within the next month, we'll be installing <coughs> equipment on the Sasco Creek Bridge. Oh, okay. They will be monitoring nitrogen and some other things. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this has been going on for for years. That beach has been closed. So it almost seems like if it's a constant source of sewage, it's probably a pipe that's just leaking out somewhere. Or, or a leaching field that's... Yeah, it could be. You know, used to be good, but it's been eroded. I guess if people live in the house, it would be a constant source, right? At least All right. Uh, anything else on that stuff? We're pretty much done with that for now, right? Yep. Informational. Tim Bishop, you on the line or no? No. 
He's going to try and call in. Oh, that's right. All right, so um, you know how the Ash Creek Conservancy came in and they were talking about that sand spit? Um, they split the price between Fairfield and, do you know if it was Bridgeport? Or Fairfield and Bridgeport. Fairfield and Bridgeport. You're talking about the planting. Yeah, yeah. and they planted 42,000 seagrass plugs over there. Okay. And uh, they came in way under budget. So each guy, I think of this, 3,000 plugs a day per man. Mm. <laughs> That's right. Oof. Flip the plug again. 3,000 times a day. Oh, my God. But it looks good. <clears throat> wow. Any other information? You got anything from the clinic on stuff? Oh. Not the clinic, the, uh, the gathering. The get, the get, it was good information. Interesting to hear some of the other communities, and some of them have a lot of show permits, and some of them have a few. I mean, Groton, I don't understand how they do that. All those permits? Well, they have a thousand or something like that. Where is the clamming? In the river or something there? I don't know, but it gets... <clears throat> Cleaned out. I mean, they have day permits. And yes. Westport used to be way up there. And they've dropped way down now. Westport used to be up near 800, 900. Hmm. They're like 500 now. I think it's people don't go boat over to Cockini and, you know, say how much they used to. Joan, you got any informational stuff? On what? Anything. Uh, no, I mean, I missed the, um, unfortunately, I missed the gathering. I thought it was Sunday, but it was Saturday. Uh, is there any online ability to track back some of what was covered, or was it sort of you were there or you missed? Yes, you can, you can go on to the agriculture website, and they will have uh, copies of all of the PowerPoint. Okay, good. And then um, they did have video, a little bit of video from the drone there, and Zosha sent the rest of it to me. So I can email it out to you guys if you want to see it. I'm not sure how much That's drone footage she has. I know <clears throat> UConn has, they flew that thing around for two hours, and I think the little video she has is like 50 seconds or something like that. So, but it, I saw a little bit, um, you know, you could see where the oysters are, but the real cool thing is, I guess it's on the email, they, like, do a 3D map of these oysters, and you can almost see, like, all the individual oysters, so they're able to count them. Um, so that's what they're going to try to determine, is if their beds are growing or shrinking. Or, but, and it sounded like they were ready to do a lot of work in Fairfield. That's great. Yeah. Any other? No public sign, so I guess we'll make a motion to, to adjourn it. the meeting. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.